Okay, here we have our nano current meter, and here I have a potentiometer on the breadboard. And if you look, it's got a one, a zero, and a five. So a 10 followed by five zeros is one million. So this has one million ohms of resistance, but it's a potentiometer, so we can vary the resistance. So let's just hook this up. So here, let's connect ground to one of the legs on the potentiometer. like that okay and then I'm going to connect the positive voltage here so I'm going to connect it to the wipers and so that way I'm trying to keep these out of the way of the screen there so that way I, if I move the potentiometer it'll move the wiper and it'll vary the resistance so let's just hook up power so hook up ground and then our positive voltage. Okay, let's turn it on. And so it should measure the resistance through the potentiometer and it's saying uh, 5.23 microamps. And it's saying that the resistance is 958 kilo ohms. Okay, and we can press the reset button. So when we press the reset button, it takes this pin, pin one here brings it low while I press it and so it, then it resets the program and it measures again so 5.20 microamps 963 right so it, again if I rotate this a little bit so we'll get a lower value of resistance so 626 and 8.01 microamps okay so like I said, um, as I explained in the Intractable, so this this pin here I made connected to the third pin of the A-Tiny, which in the Arduino IDE, that is pin four. So looking at the computer, so this is part of the, or this is the program on the A-Tiny. So I'm just going to go over part of it though. So here... I include the software serial library, and so that allows serial communication. And then you have to declare an object for that library, so it's called tiny serial, and then the pins. So the first pin is the uh, receive pin, but I don't actually plan to receive any data on this, so I'm going to put it as a minus one. Also because I don't actually have any more pins, I use them all up, so minus one because I have to put something in there. And then pin four is our uh, transmit pin. So that's we're going to transmit our data on this pin four, but on the actual A tiny eighty five. This is pin three, right? Which I pointed to. <clears throat> and if we go down here, so we start our uh, serial communication at nine thousand six hundred baud, and then at the very end of the loop, here, this is where we actually print out our data. So no units, just printing out the raw value. Um, no, you know, end of the line, like a uh, carriage return, just, just our, our data. Okay. And so each time it measured, it will send the data out through the transmit pin. So here is our Arduino and I'm going to connect to it, but first let's upload, I'm going to connect to the transmit pin, but, but I want to upload something to it. So before I uh, connect to the transmit pin, Let's just plug it in and we're going to go to the computer again. And then this is the bare minimum sketch, right? So if you go to file, examples, basics, there's bare minimum, right? And so that's what this is. So really there's nothing to it, right? There's, there's nothing really in the void setup or in the void loop. So let's just upload that to our Arduino on COM3. Good. Okay. So this is going to the Arduino, not to the A-Tiny. So it's compiling. Good, and it's done. So let me just unplug it now. So there's no power to it. Okay, so let's connect our boards together. So, um, so like I said, this pin here, I'm gonna make it the blue one. 
is the transmit pin. Okay, so here we have blue, and that's going to go into the transmit. Okay, so that's pin zero, and then pin one is transmit. So D1 here. Now, in order to, for that to work, they have to share the same ground. So let's make this purple one connected to ground. So here, connected to ground. Okay, and I'm going to use this one in a second. So right now, that one's not connected. Okay, so let's plug this in. So the Arduino is plugged in. I'm going to open the Arduino IDE. It's doing nothing because right now this is not on, so no data is being sent to it. But let's turn on. Okay, so here it says 8.01 microamps, same, same as our last measurement. And on the serial monitor, it says 8,017. And those are the nano amps, right? So that's the same value. Um, and we can we can change our potentiometer again. Press the reset. And then here, 5.63. And the serial monitor says 5,630. Okay, the last four digits. So theoretically, I think this should work for a data logger if you had a data logger connected to this. And then the last part of it is we can actually use this last pin here, which is connected to the reset. And so if we give a low signal on there, then the ATINY should reset and should take a new measurement. Okay, so if we go back to the computer. <clears throat> so I just kind of made this program uh, just to demonstrate this. So I started with an unsigned long because I want to record when the last trigger was uh, for measurement. And then in the setup, we need to declare our pin as an output. So I'm going to use pin two of the Arduino, which will reset the A tiny. Okay, but I'm going to make sure it starts off high. So that way we aren't resetting until we bring it low. And then here in the loop, Okay, most of the time it's not doing anything. Okay, but then every 10 seconds it's going to reset and take a new measurement. So here the millis function, which looks at the milliseconds since the last reset, it's going to subtract the time that it was last triggered. So it's going to start off at zero. So then when, the, when that difference equals 10,000, which is 10 seconds, right, 10,000 milliseconds, it's going to make our pin low, which will reset the A tiny 85. I gave a little delay here. I updated our, our trigger variable, so now it won't trigger again for another 10 seconds. And then I brought that pin high, so it won't reset until, until this is 10 seconds for now, okay? And then most of the time it's not doing anything, so if the A tiny sends, a, sends data to the Arduino, it should then display it on the serial monitor, right? So this is not how you would, you would need more for data logging, but this just shows you how this would work. So if we come back here, let's turn this off. Let's unplug our, our transmit line, and then let's try to upload. Okay, so it won't, it won't take a new program if the transmit line is still connected. Okay, and there it's done. So let's plug in our transmit line. And then here, this gray one here, we're going to connect to the reset of the A-tiny. So that pin. Okay, so we're connected to the reset there, and then we connect this to pin 2. Let's just unplug that there. Okay, so let's... Plug this back in, turn this on, and then you'll see 5.63. And then every 10 seconds it should reset and measure again. It's so right there. So again, we can change. And there again, 5.2. And then if we open the serial monitor, 
Let's open it again from the beginning. So five point or five thousand two hundred and eight. Okay, eight thousand seventeen nanoamps, five point zero one microamps. So again, you would need more programming with your data logger to actually record all of that, but I think this kind of shows you that it is possible to send the data to an external device. Okay, I hope you found that useful.